Go. Uh, my name is Lonnie Gibson. My name is DeAndre Mill. My name is Ivan Mutabazi. And we also have other two members who aren't here because of uh, religious reasons. And our company is Barnes & Noble. Thank you. Hello, everybody, again. Uh, here we, we're going to talk about Barnes & Noble again. And the reason why we're going to talk about Barnes & Noble is because of the industry that it is facing. Um, if you see here, it's Barnes & Noble, and uh, it's in the, in, in the business of selling books. But as you see, the market um, share is not as great as you see here because Amazon has a lot of market share. And then if you try to see Barnes & Noble here and Nook, they're not doing so great. That's why we want to talk about the problems they have and how they can solve those problems. And um, so next slide is talking about um, Barnes & Noble specific major changes. In their leadership of Barnes & Noble, they have to use two or three specific ways so they can revamp their marketing and also revamp their way of selling books. Because Barnes & Noble started as a book sale for college students, but so far they have not been able to uh, accomplish that. And uh, as, as we saw the last slide, Amazon and eBay and other book uh, sales online like Google have taken over the market share. So Barnes & Noble, what do they have to do in order to uh, get back on track and be able to compete against those other big, uh, big uh, online retail? First of all, is using information technology evolution. And that has two things. First of all, they have to do data warehousing, and also they have to get big data analytics. And first of all, what is big data? Or what, is it, what is data warehousing? It means you have to gather a lot of data from the people all over um, the United States, all, all over the world, and keep their information together so that they can give you a trend of how you have to sell books and how you have to approach your client. The second thing is big data analytics. You have to use those data, and then you have to use a trend and an algorithm that's gonna show you how people want to sell books. Because the main reason that um, Barnes & Noble wants to sell books is to sell the books to college students. And most likely, college students are gonna use books they buy online. And then if you gather all those information, you can create a way to approach those students because they're the ones who shop online more than regular customers. So here's another thing I want to talk about. And uh, the desire to change uh, the, the necessity. How are they going to change it? They're going to have to revamp. They're going to have to change everything they do. They have to get new management. They have to get a new leadership that wants to get on track with big data and use those data, use those big data that other companies are also using, be able to approach clients and be able to uh, beat other people in the market because we know Barnes & Noble hasn't been able to live the expectation. They have not been able to reach Europe and then Nuke is failing, but with big data and also getting um, the new market marketing organization, they can be able to compete against eBay, Amazon, and Apple Book. Thank you. Hello, my name is DeAndre Mims. I'm gonna to talk, to talk to you about the reasons why Nuke should change, Nook should revamp their changes in their business strategy. Um, one of the reasons we think Nook should change is because it, without Nook's success or um, without Nook's success then it would be hard for Barnes and Noble to continue in the business with the evolving retail business going online, the brick and mortar stores will soon eventually come to a closure or slow down um, increasingly at normal rates. Um, and then in, in, in the long run this will be an end of Barnes and Noble because it will not be able to compete with Amazon or, I, or I Apple. So how do we plan on implementing these changes? The way we want to implement these changes, we want to incorporate the use of um, Barnes & Noble's brick and mortar stores with the tablet. That way we can use our big data to track what, what, are, you, what are readers looking at, what type of material, then we can give them exclusive discounts for their preferences and their genres. Another reason, I mean, another way we implement this change is we want to team up with uh, Microsoft. I feel like we can team up with Microsoft. That will, that will give Barnes & Noble a more fully integratable tablet, and it will be able to compete more with Kindle or more with App, Apple or with the iPad. It can be a fully functional tablet. It will be able to get devices and other, and other apps that's necessary. And then with them, with them going to um, Microsoft, we'll give them a wider demographic that we can um, pitch to sell of the new devices too. 
So the benefits from these changes, um, the value of the Nook will, um, device will go up tremendously. Um, also, Nook or Barnes & Noble will grab more of the market share that is dominated right now by Amazon. And then the want and need for the device through these changes, because it will also it will alter, it will offer an alternative device for e-readers other than Kindle, so the device will be more sought out sought after. And then another benefit from this is because of the survival of Nook, Barnes and Noble have a better chance of competing in the online retail business for e-readers. So the type of resources that we're going to go with is um, financial resources, social resources, and physical resources. Okay, the financial resources, um, Barnes & Noble had to invest the financial resources to put on a massive advertising campaign to introduce their new tablet. Um, this campaign should come out and describe Nook as a second generation or something, something that let that people know that it's different from the first tablet. Um, they need to also put on the money to put out a better tablet, so that they would need that means also not only for campaign, but also to make a new tablet. Um, the social resource, I think they should go to all the social media platforms and advertise, heavily advertise, you know, track the um, traffic um, on the websites, how many times people are liking their posts or following their posts or sharing. So that would be a way to get their social media presence out there to the world. And then another, the last one we're going to talk about is physical resources. Um, so they would have to get the, res um, the material to make the tablets, and this would go along with the partnership with um, Microsoft, and this will also tie into the financial um, resources because you need the money to buy the material. And then also the employees will be another part of the physical. The employees' man hours of working the long campaigns or the long hours or putting in the thought process of, ben of management. So these are the three resources that I, wanna, that I would say Barnes & Noble's need in order for Nook to bounce back in the market and continue to have success. Hello, my name is Lonnie Gibson. I'll be talking now about the obstacles change also, the change for Barnes & Noble starts with the small capacity of the processor for the apps. Because the larger space you have for the apps, you will not be able to download movies, books, e-books, and also applications that you will need in order to process um, all the information you need. Also, you, um, something else that is a change would be the, um, the loss of sales of the Nook. If the Nook is not compatible to um, Amazon, Amazon and um, Apple, your product is gonna fail. Some of the weak, if you don't have a, a strong marketing strategy, the company itself, Barnes & Noble, will fail. So you never want your company to fail due to Nook's incapacity. And uh, also, you wanna make sure that you meet the, uh, the maximum of the Nook ebook capacity and compete with the competitors such as Amazon. Some of the obstacle solutions will start with the splitting of, of the Nook because Nook itself can stand by itself without Barnes & Noble. Because when Nook is together with Barnes & Noble, it takes away from the company due to um, its inability to, um, to compete with Amazon's Amazon Fire Stick, Amazon's um, also, yeah, you have to allow the Nook to uh, have its own unique, um, own unique expertise because if, without it, you know, Barnes and Nobles has the books, you know, so you need that by itself. Also, a good um, solution for Barnes and Noble and Nook with, is to partner with Microsoft. When you partner with Microsoft, it will give them the competitive edge in order to compete with other competitors within the arena. Organizational change. 
look with uh, the correct combination of programmed and unprogrammed um, decision making, you will be able to um, keep up with what's going on within the company and to make the uh, executive positions in order for the, the company to succeed. And you also want to make sure that you want to cater to your customers. So you want to go with where they are, you know, um, cater to their needs. And not last but least, incorporate the important um, to build a rapport and to find out exactly each and everything that um, Milk will be able to provide to the um, customers and also um, be able to make your, your customers happy. And thank you for your time.